So in this video, I want to discuss some impossible collisions. So what I suggest is that uh, once I've talked through what's going on, uh, pause the video, have a look at these velocities and see whether it makes sense to you and see if you can reason as to why they would be impossible. So we're going to consider a collision between two identical particles. So the two particles, A and B, they both have the same mass. The following sets of velocities are all impossible. Explain why in each case. So UA and VA represent the initial and final velocity of particle A. UB and VB represent the initial and final velocities of particle B. And they're all the velocities of meters per second. So the first scenario we have is that the initial velocity of A is 5 meters per second. The initial velocity of B is 3 meters per second. The final velocity of A is 3 meters per second, and the final velocity of B is 4 meters per second. Now, from first sight, you might be thinking, well, that kind of makes sense, because if A is going to collide with B, uh, A is going faster than B, so it's going to hit collide with it. Uh, a is reducing in speed, V is increasing in speed. Um, so once they kind of like knock into one another, A is going to reduce in speed, but B is going to increase. Okay, so that kind of feels like it could happen. But once you look at the conservation of momentum, where we've got the mass of A and the mass of B are both the same, so let's call it M, we would have 5M plus 3M on the left-hand side would have to be equal to 3M plus 4m on the right hand side. So we would have 8m equals 7m, which obviously doesn't make sense. Okay, so the conservation of linear momentum would not is not happening here. So that doesn't work. So we can't have question number one. Okay, that would be impossible. Right, number two, uh, we've got the initial velocity of A is 6 metres per second, and the initial velocity of B is minus 3 metres per second. So we've got A and B are coming in to collide with one another in different directions. Then the final velocity of A is 4 metres per second, so it continues to the right, but B doesn't change direction and keeps going to the left at 1 metre per second to the left. So that would require both A and B to switch positions, which obviously doesn't make any sense. Okay, so for A to con continues to the right, but B continues to the left even after the collision. Okay, so that's nonsense. That can't happen. Uh, number three, we've got the initial velocity of A is 5 metres per second, and the initial velocity of B is minus 3 metres per second. So again, A and B are coming in to collide with one another. The final velocity of A is minus 6 metres per second, and the final velocity of B is 4 metres per second. OK, um, so uh, what we've got here, again, we could take a look at uh, the conservation of momentum, um, which would be 5m take away 3m, which is 2m. And then we've got minus 6m plus 4m is uh, minus 2m. So we'd have 2m is equal to minus 2m, which obviously doesn't make any sense. But what you're seeing here, you know, which you could spot without having to look at that, is that a is coming in at 5 metres per second, and it finishes up with minus 6 metres per second. So it has increased in speed. So A increases in speed, even though it changes direction, uh, it does increase in speed. B starts off at minus 3 metres per second, and then goes to 4 metres per second after the collision. So its speed has changed from 3 to 4 metres per second. It doesn't make sense that both particles would increase in speed after the collision. OK, that doesn't make any sense. Um, so that is one of the key problems with number three. But you could also look at conservation momentum as well um, to show that that doesn't make sense. So with each of these scenarios, it's really making sure that you can look at the numbers go right or look at the problem even before you get to the conservation of linear momentum to say, actually, that situation couldn't make sense and making sure that you're able to explain it in the exam should you be asked to.